I'm back with a few items I've picked up recently. Uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. So first of all, I picked up the Vichy uh, Othermal Mineralizing Thermal Water Spray. And I had no intention of picking this up, but the reason I did pick it up is because I was interested in the Garnier Moisture Boost. Um, that's a spritz as well. You spray it all over your face, but you only get 75ml of that, and it's more expensive. So I went around the corner in boots, and I thought there must be something, you know, that's bigger and better. And there is! And it's this. And I've never tried the Vichy, I've tried the Avene, I've never tried the Vichy, and a lot of people, upon my recommendation, because I've used quite a bit of this now, have bought this, and they say they love it, and it's £7. And the Garnier Moisture Boost Spray is more than that. So, uh, you get 150ml of this, you only get 75ml of the Garnier, and it's Vichy. I mean, you just can't go wrong with Vichy, can you? I love this. I've been using this um, after I cleanse my face in the morning. I use it at night. It's just kind of like a moisturiser in a can, but it just doesn't, it just disappears. It just melts into your skin, and it really does feel like it's doing your skin good. It's just brilliant. It has 15... Uh, minerals in it that create a stronger barrier and healthier looking skin. You just can't complain. So if you've been umming and ahhing about it, um, try it. But definitely don't just think that these kind of face sprays are just for when it's hot because they're perfect for before you put your makeup on, they create a perfect base for that and they're wonderful at night as well. So yes, I love this. Another kind of spritzy type thing that um, somebody posted about Paula she posted about on Instagram and I thought, oh, I have to try this, I've never seen it. Because since Boots Botanics changed their packaging many moons ago, I just haven't really been into their products, which is a bit silly. So um, she posted about this rose water toning spritz, which is 100% organic. And I thought that sounds like a bit to me. So I went and I found it and it was on offer. So what you do with this is you spray this all over your face, obviously with your eyes closed, after you've taken your makeup off, and then you wipe this off with a cotton pad. It's amazing. I love rose water because I love the smell of it and I've been tr using the Boots traditional rose water and glycerin toner but it's far too oily for my skin, I don't have dry enough skin to kind of take it so it just kind of sits on the top of my skin but this is fabulous, obviously you could just put it on a cotton pad and then put it over your face, I really love it, it's wonderful, smells lovely, got da damask rose in it, love it, this was 3 99 really nice and I haven't actually been using a toner because ever since I kind of thought about the Boots traditional one. I thought, no, it's just not working for me. It's just too oily. I just haven't used one because I don't have one, but now I do. So give that a try. It's really nice and I love anything in spray. I just do. I don't know why it's weird, but I do. Now I spoke about the Guardian Moisture Bomb line a minute ago, didn't I? Because I said I wanted the spray and I didn't buy it. And this was on offer in Boots and I want a new day cream. My day creams, I, they're just not working for me. So I picked up the Moisture Bomb Antioxidant Water Cream Day Moisturiser with a Glow Booster. I don't know what that means. I, nothing, I don't think. <laughs> it's just one of those things they've called it. But, um, this is amazing. It reminds me a lot of the Dr. Jar Watershore Gel that used to come in a little kind of mint green pot. I love the way that the company is coming out more and more now with this gel type consistency for moisturisers because for me it just suits my skin a little bit more and I just, it's just, I don't know, it's just fun to use. So it looks like this and I opened it and it's pink. It's actually pink. I love it. it smells absolutely amazing. It smells really fresh and it's beautiful underneath makeup. It's absolutely stunning. It doesn't roll. It doesn't kind of patch up it just it's like a it's like a glass layer over your skin before you put your makeup on i adore this so try it while it's on offer it's the moisture bomb day cream uh and i tried to find it online actually and i couldn't so you'll have to go into boots to look for it but i really really like it that's for all skin types and then a couple of things from nip and fab um they were on offer in super drug their cleansing pads and you know i've spoken endlessly about their glycolic fix cleansing pads which i still have a couple of left which is why i haven't opened these um yeah, anyway, so, but I hope they'll be nice. So they were on offer, and I thought, oh, I've never tried the Dragon's Blood range from Nip and Fab, so I bought them. And these are hydrating facial cleansing pads with hyaluronic acid and Dragon's Blood. And they also have salicylic acid in them, which deeply cleanses the pores. Hyaluronic acid, obviously, that hydrates them for a plumper looking skin. And Dragon's Blood comforts and restores through skin hydration. So you just use these, wipe away the day with these gentle cleansing pads. Uh, they've got witch hazel in them as well. Oh, I love witch hazel. I love the smell of witch hazel. It's a bit weird, isn't it, right? And you can use twice a day, in the morning and the evening. 
fabulous. I don't know what they smell like, I bet they smell nice. But I love their cleansing pads, I just do. I love everything from Nip and Fab, but if you want to try something first off, if you're new to the line, try their cleansing pads. They're nearly always on offer in Superdrug. Um, not so much in Boots, but they're nearly always on offer. And I would definitely start with the original glycolic fixed ones, um, because those are the ones I've tried, I love them, they're amazing. And then I do believe I've mentioned this before a while ago, but I've only just got round to opening it. Isn't that ridiculous? And I love it. So it has to have an honorary mention because it's the Nip and Fab Glycolic Cleansing Fix. And this is the, um, obviously the face wash version rather than the cleansing pad version. But the difference with this is it has glycolic acid in it, obviously, but it also has olive oil. And this stuff, no, oh my God, it doesn't only smell amazing. And it does smell amazing. It, I don't know why. What is that smell? It's kind of like lemon. It smells like lemon. Yeah, it does. It smells like lemon, but not an overly citrusy way. It just smells like really nice lemon. I don't know why. And this is a deep cleansing purifying formula to clear uh, for clear and radiant skin. 2% glycolic acid to gently exfoliate and retexture, and olive oil to cleanse and purify the pores. Developed a stutter. What am I doing? <clears throat> I don't know. Um, any glasses as well? Very small text. Anyway, so you put this on damp skin. Uh, rub it in, wash it off, and it just, your skin looks brand new. I don't know why. I think it's definitely a combination of the, of the glycolic acid and the olive oil. But I love the fact it's got olive oil in it. It's wonderful. Just kind of why it's cloudy looking. But I've had this sitting um, on my vanity, well, on my vanity, adjacent to my vanity where I keep my skincare. And I haven't opened it because I've got a load of stuff on the go. But the other day I thought, do you know what? It's just going to go off if you don't open it. So I opened it and I used it the first time and I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. And it's amazing. I think I'll probably always repurchase this. That's a big claim because I have quite a few face washes on the go at the moment and they've all taken a back seat to this. Um, I don't know why I love it so much. I just do. I think it's definitely the olive oil in it that makes it kind of a little bit special. So those are my new little skincare buys. Um, I've been really into my skincare recently, really into my skincare. I don't know why. I go through these phases. I've been into like skin and foundation and concealer. It's weird, isn't it? It's very, very strange. So yes, um, let me know if you've tried any new skincare or any old skincare. It doesn't have to be a new release. It could be stuff that you've just discovered because I think um, when you have, you could get so many things that you're bombarded with on television and adverts and stuff and YouTube and things like that. And they're always new, you know, they're always new and you kind of forget about stuff that just sits there on the shelf in super drug or boots or whatever going, what about me? You just kind of forget. But the Nip and Fab line is absolutely wonderful and I think very affordable for the quality. Um, so give those things a go. Not sponsored, I just think you should give them a go. And yeah, I really love the Moisture Bomb. I haven't tried anything else from the range. They do a mask, a sheet mask, and I just discovered the other day some sheet masks from Indeed Labs that are in a box over there. I just found them. I've never used them. I'm going to use those. Ridiculous. I just never, I just, I don't know what I do with these things. Just stuff them in drawers and boxes. Anyway, so enough blabbing. Leave me a comment. Tell me your skincare favourites at the moment, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, everyone.